hi everybody welcome back to la foundation my name is hazel and today i'm just gonna be talking about the topic seasonal gratitude why i title it seasonal gratitude you're gonna find out in just a few minutes um we have good people and we have bad people and this is something that we have labeled and we all know that it's there a good person at a certain season of your life, they were there helping you and they were always there at the forefront being the best pillar. A good person at a certain, a bad person at a certain season of your life, they betrayed, they were unfaithful or they hurt you in any way. And um, hence, I titled this First, seasonal gratitude. And there are some of these bad people that were good people at some seasons. And some of these good people were bad people at some seasons. This goes on to say that just because someone was good at a certain season, when they turn to be a bad at another season, it does not entirely make that person bad or good. People are there to be used by God to either bless us. And some people are there and they're used by the devil. And just because someone was used once to do good, it does not mean they cannot be used by the devil on another season. And when this comes and this happens in your life, it does not take away the goodness that this person did in another season or at that season when that person was doing good. Hence why there is forgiveness. Hence why God said, for me to forgive you or for me to hear your prayers, you should forgive. He made it that big or he made it that deep so that we understand that unforgiveness bounds a lot of things or it holds a lot of things or it brings down a lot of people. So, let us all be reminded that good people are there, bad people are there, and some switch depending on the season. But it does not take away the gratitude that you had at that season. As a child of God, it says that you should always be having a um, a, a spirit of gratitude. Be thankful, be, always be in a very light and happy mood. Let us be grateful for the seasons that those those people were good to us because they allowed themselves to be used by God. Because the devil is now using that person, it does not change the fact that that person, at a certain time, they were your pillar. You, by yourself, if you sit down and think about it, you were once used by God and on another day, you were used by the devil. Let us take forgiveness seriously. Let us be grateful for those seasons that people have were good to us. Let's not label people. Let's not label people. It is not our duty to judge. It is not in our powers to judge. We put everything in God's hands. May God help us to forgive those people or to forgive ourselves when we were used by the devil. But God also help us to be grateful for those seasons that we are blessing for other people. Or when other people were a blessing to us. Let us be grateful. Let us always remember to be grateful. Let us remember to be even grateful to God. Just because at that season of your life, you're facing a lot of challenges and temptations and troubles back to back. It does not change the fact that God turned your life around for six months ago. He saved you from an accident. It does not change that he healed you or he healed your friend, family member or whoever. It does not change that part of life that God was absolutely good to you even when you didn't deserve it at all. Just because there are little lessons that you're supposed to be taught, it does not take away the goodness of God. Be grateful for those seasons that God was good to you. Be grateful in 
especially when you are not seeing results. Be grateful. Show the devil that you are grateful and you you are happy that God once did it for you and he will do it for you again. If God could do it for you before, nothing can stop him from doing it for you again. No matter how much sin you have done in between, he's a generous and a good God. That's why he said grace he used grace because grace is undeserving. It's not that we did anything special for God. It's just unmerited favor that he used upon our lives. Always remember this. God did not make nobody, none of us, even me, no one qualified for this. It's just his unmerited favor. It's just his f- grace upon our lives. So that nobody can boast. It's the unmerited favor. It's the grace. So remember when you're facing sin, when you're facing temptations, when you're in that bad season of life, remember how God was good to you. And begin to thank God. Say a prayer of thanksgiving. Say a prayer of thanksgiving. Go back down memory lane and remember every single time God picked you up. And say, God, I thank you. In 2002, you healed my daughter. In 2001, you did this. In 1990, something, you did this. God, I thank you. And you are the same God that I'm still serving today. And no matter how much wrong I've done, I know that you are God who forgives. God, help me. Help me me Lord so that I can go through this temptation I'm grateful because you are the same God that helps me you are God of miracles and you will do another miracle for me now that's a child of God now that's a child who's grateful and that's a child who remembers every single goodness that their father has done and acknowledges the authority that the father has upon their lives now that's a child of God And do it with your entire heart. Do it with everything you have. Remember to be grateful for those seasons. Remember to be grateful. Remember to be grateful no matter how big or small that someone did. It's not that person. It's God. God uses us to do good. On our own, we cannot do good. It's God who helps us, who tells us to do these things. So remember to be grateful in every season of life. Thank you. See you next time.